What's going on you awesome creatives? In today's lesson we're jumping into SketchUp, taking a look around and showing you guys the basics of getting up and running in this amazing program. Alright guys, so I have got SketchUp opened up um, right here. So you'll notice my screen's pretty blank at the moment. Usually I've got layers and styles and whatnot and a large toolbar kind of set up over here on the left hand side. However, for today, I just want to show you guys the absolute basics of getting started. Now, SketchUp is an amazing modeling program. Um, it's one of my highly recommended ones for probably getting up and running um, at architecture school ASAP because it is so intuitive and so, so easy to use. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to click on this guy and just delete him. Now, you notice as I did that, you kind of came up with these kind of marching ant lines, right? If I do that, it's going to select anything that's within that box, it's going to select. If I come back the other way, you'll notice it's now a solid line. Now that will only select kind of um, the things that I wholly enclose in that, right? So if I kind of delete or go back, and I've now got this guy again, right? And you'll notice if I've got this kind of solid box, right? If I only come halfway down, it's not actually going to select him. However, if I go those marching ants, Right, I will. So that's very much similar to AutoCAD or any other program, kind of like that, that you may have used. Um, 3ds Max, I believe, also has the setting if you tweak it a little bit as well. Um, but anyway, so that's the basic selection tools there, guys. Next up, I'll draw your attention to this kind of axis. SketchUp uses an axis symbol, X, Y, and Z, kind of like a lot of other modeling programs. All right, and SketchUp will actually snap to these kind of grid lines. Um, so anyway, let's jump into start modeling so I can actually explain what I mean. Let's delete this guy again. All right, and let's grab our pencil tool. You'll notice we've also got an eraser tool. We'll jump into that in a moment or two. All right, so it'll snap to this origin, and I'm just gonna start drawing up through here. And you notice bottom right hand corner, we've also got a length in millimeters. You can change that if you want inches and foot, depending on where you are in the world and what kind of uh, measurement system you use. But I'm just going to come up here on the green axis and you can see there I'm kind of nearly almost at 10,000 mils. So I'm just going to type that 10,000 mils. All right, so that's another way. Instead of just clicking, I can actually type and lock into the axis that I want. Like I've locked into the red axis there. And maybe I want to kind of look at doing about 4,000. All right, and I can obviously drag that out and get somewhere close. All right, or I could, if I go Control Z, no Command Z because I'm on Mac, sorry. I can also come out and go 4000 and just type it on the numerical pad, right, and it'll snap down. Now you notice there again it's snapping to the green axis and I can come down and snap to the red axis and then close off this shape. You notice there that once I've closed it out, we're no longer showing that outline, we've actually got a solid kind of shape there and you've got this kind of grey. Alright, that kind of brings in the next awesome, awesome kind of little um, tool that we've got in SketchUp, which is the push-pull tool. So push-pull tool will be... What is that? So push-pull tool will be awesome for kind of grabbing any kind of surface that is created and pushing or pulling it as needed. So I can click and you'll notice that there's all these dots now because it's kind of hovering over that. I can click that and I can drag it up. Or I could actually just click and hold and drag it up. All right. And again, I can type it in. Say I want 2300 mils, right? And it'll snap up. So I do 2300 and enter and it'll snap in just like that. All right, so that's some very, very basics of getting started with SketchUp, and I'd suggest kind of jumping in around and kind of having a bit of a play. But to show you guys a couple more things, what we can do is, let's go right click on this header up here, it'll come up with this box, right, and we can use Customize Toolbar. So if you want more tools than this, you can kind of come down here, all right, and say we want maybe the outline or offset Let's go this offset, right? And I can click and drag that up. You notice that it's snapped into here, right? Now for this, I can kind of click this offset, hover over off the line, and then drag this in wherever I want. So say I want 150, I can then type 150 and hit enter. And you notice there, now I've got two different surfaces. I can obviously go with this surface in here, or I can go with the surface out here. All right, so then I can kind of push and pull that, right? and I can slide that out, all right? Pretty, pretty simple there, guys, all right? And now I've kind of got kind of a porch leading into our building. Also, SketchUp will also snap to midpoints, and I can kind of come along here, and you'll notice it's just snapped there. And I've just got my simple pencil, and again, I'm coming along the green axis, 
and I'm going to snap down to the other midpoint. And I just want to show you guys this really, really quickly before we wrap up. I can now grab this line, and I can grab M on our keyboard or our move tool, and I can click this and move it up. All right, and you notice there that it's starting to create a pitched roof. All right, so very, very basic there, guys. All right, so that's kind of going to wrap us up. Um, there today. I just want to show you guys the very, very basics in about a five minute video. I'll make sure that I'm uploading more um, more kind of SketchUp tutorials because I know this is something that a lot of people want to get started on and it is one of the best programs to kind of start, just to kind of start communicating your architectural ideas as quick as possible. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing down below and until next time guys, have an awesome week. Bye.